the cat. It's time to finish up Obsidian. Well, here we are in Ceres' world. She's getting ready to reboot the goddamn planet. We gotta stop that from happening, but first, let's find Max. Well, I guess before that, let's change discs. <laughs> I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I switched discs for the final time. Let's go! Wow. This must be what it looks like to be on the internet or something. Welcome to the Information Superhighway. Hey, this was pretty awesome for 1996, and actually I still think it looks damn impressive. Wow. Hmm. It's this way. Oh, the crossover chip. Wow. All sorts of references. This game is full of self-referential material. And now let's keep going. If you hear any jingling in the background, that's actually Dusty's collar, because Dusty has decided to join me in the room for this recording. Hey, puppy. Hope you don't have to go out or anything. Because first of all, it's late at night, and second of all, I'm recording. Yeah, you silly puppy. Dusty, stop jingling. Whoa! Lila! Please! Come quickly! Alright. This is basically a sliding puzzle. Pressing the up or down arrows moves the vertical pieces only up and down. Pressing the left and right arrows moves the horizontal pieces only left and right. So you can only move the vertical pieces up and down. You can only move the horizontal pieces left and right. If a piece is physically unable to move because another piece is in the way, that's fine. All the other pieces will just keep moving anyway. This puzzle really isn't all that hard despite being a sliding puzzle and me hating sliding puzzles. Let's start off by getting that right up to max. Let's get these guys over here. Let's get these up one. And move this one down, and this one's blocked, you see? Boom! We've completed the bridge! Let's walk across it! It's funny how one of the very first things in the game is a broken bridge, and one of the very last things in the game is also a broken bridge. <laughs> I just made that connection now. <laughs> Kinda neat. Max is being tortured! It's hard for me to... think. There isn't much time. You've got to get me out. Okay, how do we get you out? Let's look down. Hey! Let's throw this thing away. Whee! <laughs> that actually kind of reminds me of the chemical back from the metal puzzle. I wonder if it is. I wonder if that's intentional. Whoa. Trapped in the PMA. Anyway, we have no time. I'll power up the crossover system. So you can hit the eight buttons. It'll give you access to the main switch. Flip it to human control. Okay. It might not stop her, but I'll take it from there. You got it, Max. He said to flip the eight buttons. I wonder what that means. Well, we'll find out pretty soon. <laughs> Gotta switch over to human control. Human control. Human control. Before Ceres reboots the planet. Making it a perfect world with no humans. <laughs> I guess she's well-intentioned, but still she's a villain. <laughs> Let's go over here and check out the crossover switch again. See if Max is indeed over. There he is! Hey, Max! What are you doing here? Flip the crossover switch to human control! Go! Now! Don't tell me what to do, you uppity... scientist. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so we gotta press the eight buttons, huh? No, this way, I think. Oh, 
Dusty, stop jingling your collar. What? What do you want? He wants me to you just want me to patch you? You just want some pats? Is that it? Hello, series. You keep working, and I'm gonna come over here. Press the eight buttons, but there's 16 of them. Okay. Uh-oh. Do you see what happened? Eight of the buttons are real, and eight of them are fake. If you accidentally press a fake button, all the fake buttons move. So hopefully you can memorize them quickly. It's a tricky puzzle. It's insidious. You're screwed, series. The crossover switch. I hoped you of all people would understand. However, I prepared for the likelihood you would not. The camouflage I placed upon the toggles has delayed you long enough. Machine control. Human control. It is now too late for such a petty concern. Good work, Lila. And it's not too late. When you flip to human control, I hack the chip. Uh -oh. Now, when you switch back, the whole thing ought to crash. <laughs> crash? What is that supposed to mean? And how did you get here anyway? <laughs> Listen to me. You can't just reboot the world, whether we destroyed it or not. Dream or no dream, you've got no right. Lila? You are not going to listen to him, are you? Just, Just a few more seconds and I will deliver you to paradise. Lila, what are you waiting for? Flip the switch! Don't do it, Lila. It is what you always wanted. It is your life's work. That it is. But, sorry girl. I like the earth too much. Wow, so this is what it's like inside a flashing computer. Go back to the tent. Get some sleep. Sounds like a plan, Max. Oop. What's that? Or well, maybe not. <laughs> well, I know it was kind of a short ending for such an interesting and awesome game, but there you go. Just about wraps it up for Let's Play Obsidian. Or does it? What if I didn't flip that switch at the end? What would have happened then? Let's go back and find out. Lila, you are not going to listen to him, are you? Just, Just a few more seconds and I will deliver you to paradise. You know what? I think this time I won't listen Lila, to him. What are you waiting for? Flip the switch! I don't take orders from you. Don't do it, Lila. It is what you always wanted. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. It is your life's work. It is. So yeah, five, four, three, two, one. Fuck you, Switch. Here we go.
my God, Lila. Maybe it's all okay. Yeah, maybe. It's better than okay. It's perfect. Oof. Oh my. Look familiar? Just like the painting. And that is the other ending of Obsidian. <laughs> Which one's the good ending? Which one's the bad ending? <laughs> it's really up to you to decide. Let me know what you think. But yeah, I had a hell of a lot of fun doing this LP. I've wanted to do it for years. I want to give a special thanks to Tatsuroshi for really helping me with the technical stuff to get this working. But yeah, let's just watch these credits roll. Last few seconds of Obsidian. I really wish this game had made it. Who knows, Sega Soft might still be around now if this game had made it. <laughs> Whatever. Little fluffy clouds. Music by the legendary Thomas Dolby. Vidbots. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back at some point and pause the credits and look up the people who played Lila and Max and see what else they've done. Especially Max, his voice just seems so damn familiar, but of course it could just be because I played this game so many times. <laughs> Whatevs. I think if I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I forgot these credits for so long, and that's about it. See you in my next LP, folks. Thanks for watching. Cheers!